you today is a kind of kinky looking hip uh, hip flexor release. So uh, what I want you to do is is just walk before you do this technique on yourself. So just walk around, kind of just make a mental note of how your hips feel. Then do the release technique and then walk around again. And, and what you'll typically find is that hips just feel a little looser, like they swing a little bit better. Uh, give it a try. Don't do it in the gym. People will think you're weird doing something creepy. So uh, <laughs> this is Maria from HockeyTrainingPro.com where my mission is to help 10,000 players win more games with fewer injuries. Even if you don't have the genetic gifts or the natural ability of your competitors, check out this uh, kind of funky looking hip flexor release. So this is one that you might want to do at home because you might creep people out in the gym and they don't know what you're doing. But it's um, it's sort of a active release and I really use that term loosely because active release is a, a form of manual therapy and, and really to call yourself active release therapist you, you need to be qualified and certified to do that. But it's a form of manual release um, it's, it's sort of along the lines of what we use the lacrosse ball for. So what I'm going to do is find my hip bone here. So the, the bony part of my hip that sticks out in the front. And I'm going to come just inside it. And then, um, you know, almost like I'm trying to follow the line of my pelvis down and in. And use two or three fingers. And then what I usually do is I'll just lift my leg and see if underneath my fingers I feel... Um, a muscle kind of popping up when I lift my leg. If I don't feel a muscle popping up, um, then I'm going to just kind of keep digging around in there until I find it. And for some of you, it'll, it'll be a little tricky to find. Um, you shouldn't be getting kind of like a pinchy pain because you can also sort of dig in there and, and press on your on your innards, on your intestines, and don't really uh, want that. So once I found it, then what I'm going to do is keep pressure on there with my fingers, and then I'm just going to take my knee and glide it out over my toes. You will hardly see any movement. I'm not lifting my bum off the ground, so you can see my right knee is just gliding out over my toes and I keep that pressure with my fingers down. So what I'm doing is kind of pinning down the fascia and then moving the muscle underneath it. And I do 15 on that side and then I would do 15 on the other side. So again, I'll kind of try to follow the contour of my pelvis in and then I'll lift. And I should feel deep in there some muscles. I, I don't really want to feel it in the front you know, down here lower, it should be deep in there. And then I'm going to do my release again.